After you've decided on the cabinet layout, a good thing to do would be to add accessories to make it more personal. So some of the things that we're finding that you can add are light rail, which is underneath the cabinetry, which allows uh, you to do under cabinet lighting and kind of disguise that lighting. It also sort of underlines the cabinetry using crown molding uh, to accent the top of the cabinetry. And then also things like wine racks, Corbels are always used uh, on islands and that sort of thing. Fluted fillers can be added to the left and right usually of the sink as an area that we use it for or maybe the left and right of a cooktop. Give it a little bit more drama, a little bit more design. Sometimes fillers are used in the applications because no room is perfectly square. Some people don't like to see stainless steel hoods in the kitchen and would rather have the hood disguised to match the cabinetry. So a built-in hood uh, will give you that. It's built in the same wood as your cabinetry, adds a little bit more of drama as well, and kind of just ties the whole space together. After you've selected the door, um, sometimes we like to do some open cabinetry. So there's many different styles of door that uh, will accept glass. So you can have different mullion styles, or you can have a simple door that has no mullions. Uh, and then you also can select the glass, so you can do clear glass or reeded glass, obscured glass, so you don't really see what's going on behind the cabinet in kitchens, bathrooms, bars, wherever. Uh, one thing to think about with open cabinetry is uh, would we like to display this? Is it going to be something that's going to have artwork or dishes or something that we want to show off? So um, sometimes we'd like to light those. You can light those from up above or you can light those from the sides of the cabinet, uh, which give it a nice, bright, finished for the inside.